girls to say Big mistake, I play the game Should've never given it away No, I didn't mean to You get hurt at all I appreciate the time with you My heart when it's when I'm with you I don't think we're compatible It's just not possible Selfish baby, please don't judge me, please don't Gym again. Oh, if food, huh? I'll pay the man. That's my pay. Let's go to gym, guys. Let's go get this body. Boxing done. Yes, but yeah, happy Tuesday, guys. It's Tuesday evening, and had a very hectic day today. Um, I think I showed you guys just a snippet of myself at work in the morning or in the office, and then after work, I literally spent half of my day on my feet. That's how hectic it was. Went to the mall after work to collect my hair. And then now I'm at gym. I actually did two classes. So yeah, I'm so drained. I'm so tired. But yeah, man. It's been a lot. It's only the 16th of April today. So please do push my video. Please do push my channel. Because road to 300 subs, baby. And yeah, let's go home, guys. Let me go take a shower. I am tired. And the time right now is 17 past 7 p.m. And yeah, let's go home. Come back at six, wake me and your child And then, won't lay today, make me wonder who You might have been playing with Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing this Make her back over and over again Sweat change, but I notice the end I want you on scene 
make you know your words so funny to me That's why you didn't call it but what the time Got tired of your shit, you almost took my life Long say, call the name You'll continue to try to play these games Welcome back to my channel welcome welcome honey hope you like it here and decide to make this your new home by sticking around and to my returning service thank you so much for coming back thank you so much you guys for tuning right back in and yeah welcome back to another vloggy vlog and yeah man welcome back to another sorry welcome back to another weekly vlog it's gonna be a weekly vlog it's wednesday today and I'm gonna be closing off this vlog when how long should a vlog <laughs> drag? <laughs> um how many days are acceptable for a vlog to be draggy? If that's even a word, but yeah, I'm at work, it's lunch time. I'm just about to have my pie, guys. One thing about weights, Uzolamba. This is my pie that my boyfriend got me from. Okay express yeah it's okay express yeah, i think he just went to a garage um yeah he actually went there to get water for himself but then him being him him being the thoughtful boyfriend that he is he ended up getting me a pie and i'm having it with my coffee because he didn't get anything to drink but anyways now i'm fine with coffee because guys my new office has been super hectic like i'm not even getting enough time you know i feel like this office is gonna teach me because one thing about myself guys i've been struggling like proper struggling <laughs> proper struggling with um what is it time management waking up in the morning is a hustle today i woke up my body was super sore i ended up saying let me just get like 10 minutes in and just rest 10 minutes ended up being 30 minutes and in i'm always rushing in the morning and i don't like that like at all i love my what is it where's my phone g i love my slow mornings because i need that husa in the morning i need that quietness in the morning i need a moment to just go in my app check what the bible says so yeah if i'm late for work then that means i cannot get that proper time for myself in the office because obviously i'm going to be getting there i'm rushing now i have to check emails because i don't want to miss a thing or while my emails are running like you want to still a moment you just want to still like those few minutes at work <laughs> i know it's wrong but like i can't just get to work and open my emails and then I'm seven already I need a bit of like who and usually like my routine is you know my routine is get to work clean my desk um, take out my daily planner check what I had on the calendar and just make sure with everything that I said to do on that day is you know on my to-do list for the day yeah well because i normally do them like some things i do them prior the week like on sunday or monday that's when i plan like the whole entire week for myself but then this thing that i just end up adding you know as the day goes because i'm just like oh i remember oh i need to do this i need to go pick up this and that but besides that it's green tea after cleaning my desk i'm now on my planner and then i get in the word if i did not get time to do the word yeah, well, i do that word yeah, without disturbance i do the word 
because as much as we're hectic i don't think that there's things that needs me like urgently like every day or every morning or specifically like in the morning none of that because i do my task like daily proper so while i do that i'm just like i get that either that or if like i'm not getting time or moments because people do come to my desk at times i'm on a podcast if it's not the word but like i if i'm not gonna get time to go on that solo devotional i'm gonna read the bible app one get the word for the day um i've already prayed before work so it's just word for the day and then i listen to a podcast that's gonna just like give me proper word or set the mood and tone for the day that's my routine and then now i can just like go on my files do whatever reply to emails all those sort of things because now my mind is centered i'm awake but if i don't get that child ah <laughs> yo go banzi my shame like i have my camera every day with me but i don't even get time to like vlog on whatever and my camera is on five percent right now i think i left each other in lean because the aim this time around i think was just to bring my sd card to work and then i just ended up taking everything but yeah man it's only um what day is it today it's wednesday so yeah i just wanted to start the vlog proper and then just let you guys in with what's been up and about hence i'm asking about like how long can the read like a weekly vlog drag it's because i don't have time but then you we, we make time for the things we love or things that are important right so i do that but like i said this office is gonna force me to have a proper morning routine because i can't i can't i can't continue like this cannot okay i need that moment me and god me and myself in the morning um when was it yesterday i was listening to Kunjo, who's this lady this beautiful lady is it steph Koshiba, but i think she's originally from nigeria she's a nigerian lady or kenyan lady one of the two I was listening to her sermon yesterday and i think it was about an hour so 30 minutes i did get that 30 minutes in lini um before work in at my place and then the rest of that sermon i listened to it after work that's how much i need the word that's how much i need that me and god type of thingy and i was listening to that while i transferred my footage at night and then boom kms gave us a vlog i ended up watching kms you guys because after doing my own thing that stresses me out, I need a vlog to relax or just an episode Nyana for my series to relax and then I can go to sleep. But now, like, I'm just, I, I already have one thing in mind. But yeah, I'm going to catch up with you guys, just letting you guys in. We'll good see, you know what? I'm forced to wake up in the morning. If you have a trick that's going to help me, please do comment down below because a girl needs to wake up right on time. Okay. I want to wake on like being punctual this year. It's a must. I'm um, Dala. Things need to change. I'm dragging myself. So yeah, my bed is almost dead. So I'm going to catch up with you guys later. Let me eat. And I don't know. What am I going to be doing here? I think I'm going to read something. And then go back to the office after eating. Just a couple of pages from one of the books I have. And then, yeah, I mean, I need some me time i need them i'm so selfish with self like things that are just important to me and there's a post that i saw yesterday late i think i saved it let me share with you guys before this battery dies on me um it is by michelle c clark and it says i let you in on a secret bit is almost dying life is better when you make space for what you love this world will rob you of every ounce of happiness that you possess if you let it. You have to be intentional about giving yourself something to look forward to. You have to prioritize your joy. And that's me. That's literally me every day. I need to prioritize my joy. Even if it means I need to steal it from him. Because now these things are still from us. Like they're still my whole entire life. I have to come here 7 to 4 to make a living. And it's stealing my time and my joy for myself because i'm not doing something that i'm passionate about but i need to i need to be diligent at it because why everything that we do we have to do it as if we're doing it for the lord and because we are in a way 
so yeah that's just about it you guys anyways welcome back to a vlog um let's have a great week enjoy the rest of the week let's continue being productive and thank you so much for coming through today i hope you guys are going to enjoy and love this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't and don't forget that cling cling notification bell child so that you get notified every time i post a new video anyway i'm feeling great went to gym yesterday dragged myself actually so yeah today i don't think i'm gonna go there i'm gonna have to edit i'm so sad i'm not taking to wednesday because i think i wanna post on wednesday i'm working towards that but anyways yeah if you don't get a vlog later today you're gonna get a vlog tomorrow on a thursday which is gonna be the 18th of april i'm working towards that <laughs> so let me push through and see you guys later okay love you lot thank you i'm so sorry for checking myself out it's because lighting was a bit off the whole entire time so i'm just i keep checking good see am i still so i need to check my lens and talk to you guys and not look at myself but anyways yeah let's enjoy the vlog and i'm gonna catch up with you guys after work i have work to do though i don't think i'm gonna be a gym and i'm speaking for seven minutes Ciao. bye It's a couple of hours later you guys it's wednesday it's not even a couple of hours later like the time right now is i promise you 22:08, and i'm having my dinner my fave macaroni and mince even though it's a bit overcooked mara yo it slaps and you know it swallows the juice but also i think i did a bit of macaroni in there i was supposed to like measure proper so the whole entire time i was busy with laundry midweek imagine weed bank i don't know if you are around weed bank and the side of Lagilo is better please let me know because what a struggle what a struggle so midweek i'm doing laundry and one thing about going to gym you always going to be doing laundry food so yeah that's just about it it's 10 past 10. my eyes are not so good you guys as you can tell they look a bit so lengy or like i was crying or something um I, I use nivea sunscreen and i think i was using the other one what is it anti-aging and then now i'm using sensitive and i'm just like i remember why i stopped using the sensitive one of course it is for sensitive skin but i don't know why it's not for sensitive eyes i don't know i don't know what's up there but enjoy whatever chemicals i use there my eyes are not so good with them much better compared to the other sunscreens i've used but okay nonetheless that's life that's a life of a nine to five huh? <laughs> when you have a nine to five in a youtuber and you're in your 30s child it gets a bit rough days get a bit like rough you don't get time to yourself like can you imagine like the whole day in G, i haven't had time to myself and just like and breathe and just enjoy myself and enjoy no matter being whatever small thing i'll be doing i had no time for that today i tried to do ilo kanjima to shoot um my love me hair unboxing I'm gonna include it I think um, in this vlog even though I'm, I don't think I'm happy with the hair it's a bob hair looks nice but I'm not happy with the length like a mover it's giving razor cut is it supposed to be like that cuz I'm not happy child I know it is did I get an 8 inch so maybe you more wrong could be the one that was wrong <laughs> i could know me but child i was not expecting a razor card to looking back looking you know back part of the um the thingy but yeah i think i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow and yeah so as in let me just rest and rest my eyes of course i'm tired but my eyes i've been tired all day so yeah let me rest 
for now and i'm gonna continue with you guys um, i'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow morning and because i want to be early for work like i said i'm working on my time management so yeah thank you so much for tuning in today and spend the day hectic day with me and yeah until tomorrow night Hi guys <laughs> welcome back to another day it is saturday evening and the time right now is 18:14. so yeah I woke up in the morning at around 8 i think and i wanted to go to gym at 8 but since i was like you know what my body felt tired so let me just sleep in by the way there's also like a vlog that i need to edit so i was just like you know what let me rather do that let me rather finish editing um today so i did that like the whole day and i think i only took a break at 2 p.m yeah i think i took a break at 2 and i had my breakfast at around 1 yeah it was after one I had yeah that bowl of oats um and it was scrumptious by the way um i love my oats with seeds um yeah so yeah i'm feeling just like relaxed right now because um i was listening to worship music um so now i'm getting back to that editing i'm finishing this vlog and i just feel like i've been editing vlogs for a very long time and now it feels a bit not really tiring or draining but like i just need that creativity and excitement when i edit a blog so that's why i took a break and now i'm watching ellie and austin this couple that i really really like i think i've told you guys about them like a while ago um christian couple and they're talking about like something super interesting um dating as a christian you know she said something super important that i think i i definitely relate to i had and this conversation i was having with myself yesterday because i was thinking of like a certain video and just letting you guys in about you know dating and everything because i'm just like i don't know what brought that thought to mind and i'm like i am a very preserved person eh? and like I, this thing that i want to keep to myself and when it comes to dating <laughs> you guys i've been like super secretive keeping things to myself like jay you know what this thing that i believe that are for me and there's a good and bad um thing about that um you know being secretive because you don't even allow your friends to truly know how you feel about your person if you're really happy in that relationship or how maybe they can support you like it's super tricky 
but in she i was thinking okay fine people may know about the person that i'm dating or but they don't really have to know about you know everything that happens in our relationship and, and now the point i want to make is that dating as a christian there's this thing you're good to you don't want people to know that you're dating you just want to come here and say i'm a little baller, guys got engaged you know that type of vibe and for me i didn't want to do that um i didn't want to do that that for me wouldn't feel genuine that for me wouldn't feel like i'm letting you guys in my life and also going back to christianity and dating I was one that's too opinionated. They always want to have a say when it comes to things. And Mina, I'm trying to live my truth because I've seen them live their truth. And while Mina, I am scared to life. I remember the first, oh, actually, I think it's that. I think the reason I was thinking about it yesterday um, is because this topic that was trending on Instagram about this high school girl dating someone older who buys them phone and everything and i was just thinking i was thinking about the first time i went on a date <laughs> yeah i think that's what i was thinking about the first time i went on a date this camera doesn't have a, a tripod and this hand is gonna get tired pretty soon so i was thinking about that yesterday i'm not like um zalwani like a christian brother took me on a date and I was not aware that it was a date, but I just thought he, he was just being kind, you know, and nice and taking me formally to eat out for lunch, took me out for lunch, basically. So maybe it doesn't count as a, as a date. And he was really nice, Shem. Someone I knew. And I don't know. I've always just been like super scared of dating in the church at the time. I was like, I'm going to church to know God. Especially that moment in time in Luna. I'm going to church looking for God. I'm not really going there to look for, you know, dating and marriage. Honestly, that was not in my head. So, okay, after we had um, our lunch, and that's when I realized, you know, man, this person sort of likes me in a way that is. And I was like, I will not ready for this. And because of the people that I had in my life at the time, people that I thought I could count on and trust me with their opinions and everything. But one thing about me, I've never trusted people that much. <laughs> so now I'm sharing with Abazalani about my sisters, I would say. And guys, the tricky thing about telling people sometimes is that you don't really know if you can really trust them. You see they have, you know, best interest at heart because they were literally so negative about everything g and already because me now that was not in my mind i went on with that but come to look at it now the part that really confused me was that if now even the guys that are inside church are not good enough then who are we supposed to date in the church who are supposed to date as christians we are all so I think that's why even till this day, G, I haven't like openly. And guys, even a day going to that lunch with the guy, I was so scared because in my mind, I remember very well, G, because I was like, I hope nobody sees me here. And then we actually on a date because, yo, you know, I've been cut off my duty as, um, as part of the worship team at the time. Was I part of? I think I was. So I had all that pressure with me and life, J, you carry that pressure as Mzalwane literally through life and everything that you want to do and try out as a Christian. And I was like, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Then how am I going to live my life being scared of Abba Zalwane? What they have to say, what they think about me, am I holy in their eyes and whatever. That was super tricky, you guys, and so unhealthy to a point that I just feel like it's I sort of isolated myself after a lot of things happen amongst that group of people I had at the time. I isolated myself because I just feel like honestly, I feel like I'm gonna lose myself. Yeah, when I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna lose myself. And I just feel like I was never gonna grow in life had I followed the route of trusting, telling people everything about me and everything that's happening in my life they don't tell me everything that happens in their lives you know i just feel like 
when people are too opinionated when people are so strongly opinionated and you are born and you want to speak with so much passion about if you do this you go about this when i'm gonna cut you off in my life you're not working on actual just because of your surroundings are you ever gonna learn are you ever gonna live your life and living your life i'm not saying live as you please obviously no Eddie was talking about guiding your heart get in that relationship but guide your heart you know what i mean make sure that there's peace of god in it make sure or would see everything about that relationship you check the fruits that comes of that relationship and then you will know but i think when it comes to relationship it differs you guys i don't think there's just one way that himself can get a husband it happens in very interesting ways all the time because we're different and god knows exactly what we are attracted to but most importantly me and the partner should partner in the purpose of god i truly believe in that you guys so yeah man that's just about it that's just a conversation that these two years reminded me of and i just wanted to share with you guys you know guard your heart guard your space make sure you're living in peace make sure you're not carrying the burden of wanting to please and be approved by people around you no matter how much you respect them i just don't believe that the people we love and look up to and maybe who are mentoring us should give us that burden when it comes to our lives i don't think that's healthy at all so yeah that's just about it you guys let me continue with editing this video and finish it up and yeah and continue to just enjoy this weekend and have a cup of tea then i'm feeling so zen right now like <laughs> I wanted this conversation to come with like strong energy and everything but somehow my energy is like like husa i'm so who sad as i'm speaking to you guys right now <laughs> i don't feel tired but i'm just feeling a different kind of calmness right now so yeah but i hope you guys are gonna love and enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't and click on your notification bell as well so that you get notified every time i post a new video a situation that is happening under these bonnets you guys i was busy plating my hair i was busy plating my hair and gee while i was listening to travis green worship and everything maybe that's where the zen is coming from the worship i was listening to but yeah like, let me know what you think about this conversation that i just had or what i've just shared with you guys right now also i have any fryer that i haven't even unboxed yet because of life <laughs> you know i was looking for a place but it's taking time it's it's a process and yeah so it's just a corner lap i'm gonna unbox don't worry it's still gonna come unboxing is still gonna come i'm still gonna use the fi with you guys but in G yeah that's it i have a temu item also to unbox but i think i'm gonna do that later or tomorrow and yeah let me continue with editing and i'm gonna catch up with you guys later good morning guys morning happy sunday it is sunday today the 21st of april and i'm late for church so i need to rush in but yeah i just wanted to continue with the vlog pick up the vlog and i'm gonna talk to you guys proper when i come back but i'm actually the very first church in Wheatbank, i think yeah i used to come here for years until i found another one that feels like home but yeah let's get inside i'm late let's go inside
am back as in doing what did I kind of I'm back and I'm better much better <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of this Marvin Sepp song but something's a bit frustrating me here the video I'm still loading is still uploading on YouTube you guys I don't know why it's taking for ever this time it's not even a bigger um, vlog this time yeah, I just changed to my very comfortable clothes. One of my lunch wear that I still need to stock up at H and M. Um, yeah, I need a couple of things from H and M bundle just to relax and look cute and lini. Also, I did my makeup in a rush, and I mean a rush. I don't even know. It probably took me ten minutes, if not five. <laughs> if not five, I think five minutes because. It outfits hear me. Yo, I thought this as in my bed was a mess. I didn't know what to wear. Also, at the very same time, I was checking a video. My weekends have been chowed by YouTube, and that's not nice, like at all. I need is Katsasami Bandla. I need my life back on weekends. But since I'm really happy, I wanted to go to church. I wanted Holy Communion to be specific. And the sermon today really blessed my heart. I think it reminded me what I'm in a season of unlimited. I hope I'm audible because there's people like there's people working outside. Okay, the first script in the book of Judges, chapter seven, um, the story about Gideon choosing men or choosing an army. And he said, You cannot just fight the enemy without a strategy. And I was like, Yo, like and then another thing that really spoke to me was like the men that were chosen the drowned men that were chosen it's because of their posture of drinking when they went to that was it the river yeah i think it was they went to a river to drink water that how god wanted um gideon to choose the army so it's like god is so smart god is so strategic because i'm just looking at that he doesn't just say do this and none of the things that are in the world are just there gee nothing is hidden from us but we always have to seek him we always have to pursue and that's when he gets to open our eyes to see isn't the person as going that is the power of the word and another thing that he said um ask for the rain in the season of the rain ask for the rain in the rainy, in a rainy season ask for the rain i was like this is in the book of zachariah 10 um verse 1 when god speaks something in ephesus know that in that season that's what you should be asking for even though god want to give us those things if continue to seek continue to speak the word and you know speak the word about that spoken word or that season over your life because just know what you've given this season god has given you that season god has given you and i was just like wow as much as we use season of the rain as much as it could be the season for you to be fruitful but you may not be fruitful because you are not taking any parts because you're not saying anything you're not praying like it is a season of you for to be fruitful but and i was like you know what the word that's the power of the word the word will open your eyes the word will open your spirit the eyes of your heart will be enlightened and that's how we get to understand the word that's how we get to be you know go crazy over the word and things of god but yeah i had a very beautiful sunday i'm about to have scones right now and enjoy my sunday while i'm waiting for this video to finish uploading and post for you guys on this beautiful sunday afternoon and yeah man let me relax guys i don't know like i'm talking to you guys but there's a sense of i don't know what's in cartel or what is god doing because i'm so zen i am literally in my zen moment like actually i wanted to go to the mall today after church 
but yeah, something in me said go home go relax finish this vlog and take some time off I think really next weekend it's my time to literally go off as much as Kunale event or show coming up on Friday I think Saturday as well there's a boot camp but I just feel like I need to have a Saturday off yeah. so yeah but all is well all is good I'm enjoying my weekend still enjoying my Sunday I love Sundays you already know I'm not in the last three days is Sunday yeah but yeah we're almost towards the end of April and I'm yet to start my new book that precious bought for me that's why I need my sister back to myself because there's things I need to be doing that pour more to myself pour more to my spirit my soul my joy and i don't want anything to take away this joy and excitement and you know of creating youtube videos so i need to take some time off didn't even have energy to take a picture um after church i was so scared of asking people to take it to take a picture of me after this vlog <laughs> make sure to go on youtube and search is someone that you can just enjoy and say who's up before you start planning for a new week and yeah that's about it you guys i'm really happy i'm yet to digest the word and even share them with my mom and then yeah uh, i'm gonna catch up with you guys on the next vloggy vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel bye